The new moon is on the 12th of October, and that's going to be in the sign of Libra the Scales. And that's going to affect your fourth house of hearth, home, and family cancer. Also, the full moon this month is going to be on the 27th of October in the sign of Taurus the Bull. And that's going to affect your 11th house of friends and your reputation. So this is a month where your relationships are going to be very important to you. Now, let's see how your ruling planet of the moon affects you this month, Cancer. I'm Pastor Rosemont, Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from the mighty Archangel Gabriel, who rules over all the water signs. And your specific Cancer Angel Muriel, who resides over your cardinal water nature. And these are his messages for you in love, money, and health. First, we're going to get to the love transmission part of this presentation. This month, you're going to start off feeling the effects of the new moon in, again, in your, your home, your family, and the things that you consider the most important and the most close to you. The, all of the tender loving care that you put into your relationships. This is going to be affected again in that part of your life that you consider the most dear to you, your home, your family, hearth, hearth and home. All right, your family. Now, because the new moon's in Libra, that sort of takes off some of the illumination from the aspects which are particular to Libra, having to do with fairness, having to do with not having favorites. At this time, you will have favorites and other people will as well. So this has to do with fairness and it has to do with justice and what people consider a just situation like, well, this is okay for this person to do the same thing, but this person cannot do it. Again, these types of situations that one would consider either fair or unfair. So the light will be taken off the necessity for people to behave completely fairly. And a little bit of favoritism will be allowed during the new moon because of the new moon being in Libra. And this will come walking in to the very important core issues of your life where you have hearth home, and family. Again, this is your fourth house. So just understand how that's going to affect your closest love relationships, how it's going to affect your family relationships, your friendships, and your reputation. So people will feel that the light has been taken off that so that they can engage in unfairness a little bit more. And just as people are getting comfortable with that, then on the 27th of October, we have the full moon in the sign of Taurus the Bull, which is going to affect your 11th house. That's your house of friends and reputation. So at that time, the focus will be illuminated. Again, the, the fullness of the bright moon will illuminate what people have and what their friends have. And their reputation will be based on the friends that you have, the family, what, what your family has, what people have, their possessions. It's like, what do you have will be highlighted. So at that time, everybody is going to want to sort of present, I have this or I have that. And especially, I have these friends or I have this reputation. So one can make the best of whatever friends and reputation one has. So just understand that's how this month will evolve. It will go from something very personal to something a little less personal, something not shallow to something a little more shallow. So people may be concealing the part of themselves that is not shallow and putting forth the side of themselves, of themselves, which is shallow, 
for obvious reasons, to protect the self. So this, this makes sense. And since you have your shell on the outside, Cancer, and you have the soft part on the inside, you know, because of this, this is something familiar to you. And in a month where kind of you're good at these kind of things. So you'll do very well in October. All right, now for your money transmission from the Archangel Gabriel, who's made his presence very known last month in September. And from Muriel, your specific angel who resides over Cancer, understand that this is a month where finances are going to be a result of fair treatment and doing right and good things with the money and doing stable things with your money will come into a situation where you feel like fairness will actually not be necessary in the beginning, but you want to kind of then become more fair with your financial dealings because you'll start as a month evolves, you'll find that that will bring you more good fortune. So in the, the first half of the month, you'll find that giving people a little bit of favoritism will bring you good fortune. In the latter half of the month, you'll find that being a little bit more fair and even-handed will bring you good fortune. So you have to adapt as these lunar aspects come into one angle, one facet, or another is highlighted by the light of the reflected moon. Now, this brings us to your the health part of the transmission. The new moon on the 12th is going to generally enliven all of your chakras. However, your third chakra will have a decrease in chi or ki energy. So that's why you might feel more energetic, not eating quite as much, eating lighter. If you eat, if you, if you're a carnivore, eating lighter flesh like fish. If you're if you're a vegetarian, less oily foods, or at least uh, the oils that you eat should be good for you, like olive oil rather than other higher saturated types of oils. So go light on the third chakra and light on that part, especially the first half of the month when we have the effects of the new moon in Libra. And your your fourth chakra will will be okay because, again, it's in your fourth house, which will, hearth and home, kind of affects not only your family and, and, and your house, but your kitchen, because that's the hearth. So that's why all of your chakras, even the fourth, will be enlivened, but your third chakra, affected by your fourth house, there will be a decrease in energy because it's a new moon. The light is sort of taken off that. Okay? So eat light. The second half of the month, the full moon in Taurus on the 27th will affect your throat chakra, and it will increase energy and chi to your throat chakra, the fifth chakra. So you want to, again, you might be able to eat more hearty the second half of the month. You might have more of a appetite around this full moon in Taurus. So you, you can take advantage of that in the second half of October. You might want to get into more of a breathing exercise this month, especially the first half of the month when your third chakra is decreased in energy and the rest of your chakras are increased. You might want to try to balance a little bit by simply, again, we often teach breathing in from the earth through your lower chakras in and then when you exhale and empty yourself of yourself of your ego you allow the energy of the celestial fires of evening or you, you want to be, be careful doing it in the daytime you want to do it in the evening or night when you don't have the sun unless you've done it a lot then you can utilize 
the sun energy to come in as you exhale. But you have to be careful with doing that because if you haven't done that a lot, the solar fire could be too much for your chakras, and that could be especially difficult for your third chakra, especially the first half of the month. So just do this according to what you are able to do. Because the first thing you do when you come into this earth plane is you inhale, and you inhale from the terrestrial fire, yes, from the earth. And then the last thing you do when you leave the earth plane is you exhale, and you empty yourself of your ego, and that's when the energy of the heavens comes in. So you, as you want to, if you want to increase your terrestrial fire and your, and invigorate your earthly vessel, then make your inhale more prevalent than your exhale. But, you know, don't hyperventilate. But the, these are a little bit more advanced breathing techniques. So if you want to contact us for, uh, we're, we're experts in these types of breathing Merkaba techniques, you can always contact us at our website and you can uh, either email us or you can call us yes and we can set you up with a class or a consultation for that kind of thing and remember this kind of thing can be a little bit dangerous uh, so you can either check with us because we are experts in that or you can if you're having a physical problem you can always check with your physician All right now we're going to get to the afterglow to the planetary formula that, and some of the facets want to highlight for you this month I want to go over this formula. On October the 24th, there is a moon in Pisces opposing Venus direct in Virgo formula. And the answer that we got for this one is expressively poignant, even melancholy emotions are analyzed by social media or society at large. So retain your dignity wherever and whenever possible. Now, of course, to be melancholy and cry in public, sometimes it gets a person a lot of attention. So it depends on what kind of attention you want to get. If you want to be, if you want your reputation to be about dignity, then keep your dignity. And you, you might not get as much attention, but the attention you do get will be of a better quality. If you want more attention, but you don't care about the quality, you can engage in telling people your problems. So you, you understand, you know, crying in public, that kind of thing. You can shed a tear once in a while if you want to get people uh, to uh, pay a lot of attention to you, this kind of thing. So that's going to be especially October 24th will be a day that that will be especially highlighted for you. So just going over some of the planetary aspects within her and astrological facets within her are important for you. On the 12th, we have a new moon in Libra for you, Cancer, and that's your ruling planet of the moon. And that's going to be in Libra affecting your fourth house. Then on the 27th, we have a full moon in Taurus the Bull, and that is going to affect your 11th house. All right. Thank you for joining us. And this is your angelic horoscope transmission from the archangel who rules over water, Gabriel, and your specific cancer angel, Muriel, who resides over your cardinal water nature. And I'm Pastor Rosemary, the astrology angel. Thank you for joining us. And join us again next month.